I'm going to make a custom form tool. I'm going to use this sketch as my form tool. But what I need to do is just create an outside profile of the tool and create like an access point, a center access point. Now that you have your sketch finished, go to your manufacturing workspace. And in the manufacturing workspace, we're going to go to manage and form mill. For the tool profile, we're going to use a sketch we just made. The tool access is the center. For the compensation point, I always use the center line. Sometimes it's hard to click the uh, compensation point, so just keep doing it and it'll work eventually. Now that you have that done, you need to go into your tool library. This is where you can add some information to your tool. I like to set my feeds and speeds. We usually don't change them too much on our form tools. Some form tools have multiple flutes, like corner radiuses. So you can set that here, give it a name, make it easy on yourself. And you're basically finished making the tool. So because my compensation point is at the center of the tool, and I'm going to use a contour for the tool path, I need to um, offset my actual tool path to the diameter of the actual form tool itself. So I'll just make a sketch and offset it whatever that, whatever that diameter is or whatever that dimension is. It makes it a lot easier to run a contour tool path at that point. I'm just going to run a standard contour tool path. So select your tool. Make sure your feeds and speeds are right. Set to flood. And we want to select that sketch we made for our tool path. And if you simulate it, you'll see that you messed up and you need to change your heights tab. So the bottom height, I'll use selected contours. I'll offset it 120 thou. Simulate again. Perfect.